had a very interesting discussion at the ICS at the Norm Zinner Memorial Session where basically we discussed overactive bladder and its implications. Ted, um, you've known Norm for many years. We had this discussion. How do you feel the discussion went? I think the discussion uh, was excellent because it covered all the issues about the difficulties making a diagnosis of uh, overactive bladder syndrome uh, and particularly how to define urgency, which remains a bit of a problem. But the literature has been so imprecise about uh, uh, calling OAB a diagnosis and assuming that the, it's known what causes it. And that's led to a lot of confusion. And I think the debate highlighted those difficulties. Ted, you've been working in this area for many years. How do you feel uh, we'll be progressing matters with regard to terminology and the interaction of that with urodynamics? The definition of urgency seems to be a problem, and in some languages uh, there isn't a word that distinguishes sensation of wanting to go and urgency. And I think even in English there's a difficulty with urgency, uh, meaning something that's a bit compelling, uh, as opposed to the need to avoid. And we, we get this confusion in neurodynamic studies because all the machines are calibrated to tell us about the first sensation to avoid, which I think is something slightly different to urgency and maybe we should try and make that distinction. And I think those differences, the sort of rear state of the severity or the intensity of the, the feeling uh, came out today, and that was a good discussion. Not that there's no answers necessarily, but those are the issues. Well, the session we had today, I think, was very illuminating. It discussed the issues relating to terminology, pathophysiology, urodynamic assessment, and how this relates to patient management. At this stage, there's no real consensus relating to overactive bladder symptom complex, but there is distinct concern that when it's used, it's often used by colleagues as a diagnosis, whereas, of course, symptoms are not disease-specific, and certainly the bladder is an unreliable witness. Certainly, at future ICSs, we're going to hear more about this in the debates that follow with an integration of urodynamics and pathophysiology and basic science research.